Hey guys, Mel Modeler here. We are looking at a fantastic triple set from Eddard here. Um, so this is a limited edition Dudoch Nicht, and it features three aircraft, um, all flown by Ernst Udet, who was the greatest scoring living ace after the First World War. Um, now I'm doing this set to kill two birds with one stone, really. Um, we've got the Great Aces group build going on at the moment, and we've also got some World War I group builds going on, and obviously this fulfills both criteria. Um, so I'm going to be building um, these two, so the D7 and the DR1. Um, this set also comes with the um, Albatross, also flown um, by Ernst Udet. Uh, I'm going to save that for a separate video because I've got the weekend edition and the two, de or two of the decal options there I think are better than the ones depicted here. Um, and also I don't want to give you all of my content in one video, um, so I'd like to spread it out a little bit. So we'll come on to that one later. Uh, but like I say, this is a brilliant set and these two depicted here look brilliant. They're the ones I'm going to do in this video um, and there's also some others that I'm going to do, but let's dive in. So the box is jam-packed with some goodies. Um, so first of all we have the uh, DR1, uh, then we've got a double decal sheet which we'll come on to in a moment. We have the D7. Um, so they're the two that I'm going to be building, like I say. Uh, then we've got this fabulous instruction sheet here, uh, which we'll go into again in a bit more detail. Uh, then we also have the Albatross. Uh, now again, like I've said, I will be using this kit with the decals from the weekend edition that I've also got um, and covering those two off separately. Um, so I'm going to put that to one side there. We also have some Brassen sets, very nice, really good for detail um, on both sides there. Uh, then we have some masking sets, uh, that's more for the wheels rather than canopies, uh, but still very useful to have. And what I think is absolutely brilliant, and quite frankly this is what sold me, is the, the Blue Max that you get. It's a lovely little pin. Very happy with that. Uh, right, so let's look at the instructions first then, before we look at the actual kits themselves. So here you can see the, uh, the box art is obviously depicted on the front cover. And then we've got some fabulous information about uh, Ernst Udet himself. Um, his sort of early exploits in the First World War, going all the way through to the interwar period. Very good. Um, and then we go into the Albatross instructions. So again, I'm going to skip that because I've got another video planned for that. So bear with me, but there we go. Then we go into the DR1. And you can see here, here's your sprue maps and the first of your um, brassin parts and your masking parts. Um, and then here's your sprue maps. Then we come across. Um, so you can see there's lots of detail on the inside there with the um, photo etch parts. Very good. Then we come over, we've got the seats, goes together, seat belts then the cockpit goes in then how about this for some detail you've got actual new sleeves for the machine guns brilliant stuff there um i wonder how that will look in 170 second scale um, it's not really my cup of tea to do that level of detail on a kit this small that's more for 148 and bigger in my opinion but you know we'll see how it goes um, so then what do we have here? So the middle wing um, gets prepped, so obviously that's where the guns go, and then the bottom wing goes on, tail plane. Uh, then we have the struts and the top wing and tail. So at that point you've pretty much got your DR1 built. 
then you come across you've got your engine with the photo etch parts all very good then the undercarriage goes on the the wing underwing skids and the propeller photo etched um, propeller boss very good some more photo etch parts little detail stuff handles and things like that uh, then you've got your rigging instructions and anyone that hates rigging will love the dr1 because there's not really a lot um, then you've got your mast area for the wheels okay then you're done then we move on to the d7 um, so you can see we've got multiple sprues here because um, Eddard have covered this aircraft to bits um, you've really done it nicely um, so you've got lots of sprues with lots of parts that you don't actually use uh, then we've got some more photo etch parts more masks all looking really good then we come across to the cockpit area photo etch parts again on the cockpit then we have the the engine now there is going to be i've also got another set which is the um the d7 has a double pair um called Fokka Fokka, and that comes with a resin engine unbelievably well detailed uh, i might do a separate video on that um, if you'd like me to do a video on that particular boxing let me know i'll do that um, but I said, effectively you've got the same kit um, instructions are the same it's just that you've got even more detail in that set um, so then we have the um, I think, forget what it is it's the OER we'll, we'll see in a minute in the instructions so the two different types um, obviously one aircraft was built by Fokker and then there was another type built I believe by Albatross on license um, so then we've got some more sort of work going on here on the fuselage and then that all comes together and looks like that uh, then the bottom wing goes on tailplane so again a lot of that is covered off then you've got the different um, air intakes um, coolers depending on which aircraft is depicted guns go on Then you've got some stitching there underneath, some photo etch parts on underneath the engine, very nice and detailed. Struts and top wing go on. Uh, then we come across to the undercarriage. That goes on, propeller, then mask parts again. Uh, then we've got the rigging instructions, and again, not really a lot going on with the V7, which is good say if you don't like rigging if you like it then not the aircraft for you i guess uh, so then we've got the rib stripes for the albatross the d7 and the d7f and then we come into the color call out for the different um, aircraft and this is why this is a brilliant set uh, i was very tempted to do this one um, but i've got a false land that's going to be in silver uh, and I think the other two that I've got depicted for the albatross in the weekend edition should look better so that's why I'm not going to do this one but it does look pretty cool who knows I might get one another one and do that then we've got this one here and again it tells you about each one um, when he flew it so these are all his aircraft that he flew at some point um, and we've got, so we've got the three different albatross options there then we come across to the box art um, dr1 and this is the one i'm going to be doing the very um, flamboyant zebra striped aircraft very nice um, then this one's a bit more plain a bit more boring um, well arguably boring uh, you might like it then we have the d7 and again this is the box art one that we're going to do again very flamboyant um, 
very reminiscent of the Red Baron's aircraft. Really nice. Uh, then we've got this one, which I'm also going to do using the Fokka Fokka set. Um, using obviously these decals because I think that looks gorgeous. That's a really neat looking um, D7 there. Uh, then we've got this one, which without the stripes, again, very, very red, very much like the Red Baron's aircraft. Um, and obviously because I'm going to do this one, I think that that's going to cover that off nicely. Um, but yeah, really lovely set this. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at the sprues themselves. Again, we're just going to look at the D7 and the um, D1. Albatross is another video. So here we have the DR1, um, single sprue in the plastic bags. Um, just going to zoom in there. You can see this is very, very crisp, but what you'd expect from Eddard. Um, they do a lot of like photo etch detail parts, resin parts, and quite frankly, their, their injection plastic is pretty much spot on. And that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how these go together. I'm expecting them to be pretty good. So yeah, not really a huge amount going on with a DR1, um, but nevertheless, looks pretty good. So let's have a look at the D7. Um, so in this bag, we have two sprues, uh, which I think we ought to take out and have a look at. So out of the bag then, let's take this top wing as a starting point. You can see there, that's really nice and detailed. Very crisp tooling there. And then let's take the fuselage section here. So you can see you've got the different types this one here come on camera get into focus there we go and then all the different propeller options there so again the plastic looks really spot on um, and then if we just move over to this part we've got the the wheels the the engine areas the different intakes there yeah, really good uh, right, let's have, take a look at the decals then. So here we have a triple sheet. Um, so you've got the, the sort of patchwork um, decaling there, synonymous with uh, the latter German First World War aircraft, and then all the the ribs there. I mean, that's going to take a lot of effort, but probably going to be completely worth it. Very nice. Um, then we have this double-sided bit. Um, so again, here you've got the, the same thing on the albatross. Um, and then we've got all of the different crosses and the, the LO. It's typically his aircraft. Go LO again. Hello, hello. Uh, and then we have the Dudochnik bit. And the wings so yeah this looks like a fabulous set and I'm really looking forward to getting into the build so uh, let's get cracking on that now okay so uh, here you can see the difference in the two builds of these aircraft so the the d7 obviously we've got the the red on that and because most of the aircraft is red uh, we can get a lot of that built and sort of closed up and looking pretty much like an aircraft already. Uh, then obviously we'll start to look at the decals on the wings, um, some masking of the engine area, but for the most part the build is pretty much done already. By contrast, the, um, the DR1, uh, we've primed that in white and now we're going to have to start getting clever with a lot of masking uh, before we can do any more building. So yeah, this is where the two of them are at at the moment. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking on these two. 
And there you have the fuselage master ready for the black and white. Uh, now we just need to do the, the tailplane and the top wing now. That then is the black paint done. So we just need to get the masking tape off and we can reveal hopefully what looks like some really cool stripes. Et voila! Very happy with that. Looking really good. As you can see, we've got the linen painted on here. Uh, and basically what I'm doing is using the paintbrush to get the effect that I'm after. So we've got the olive drab here, which I'm just going to load up the brush and sort of dry that out. Because what I'm after is sort of quite a dry brush that will actually then give a nice street uh, effect. Uh, obviously it's the kind of effect that we try and avoid as modelers when brush painting but for this one it's exactly what we're after um, and then I'm going to use a stiff brush for a slightly lighter green um, to go over that even more uh, so yeah let's get cracking on that update on the two Fokkers then. So we have the D7 here looking pretty colourful now. Got some decals on there looking very nice. They've adhered to the model really nicely. Um, obviously you can see we've got the ribs to do. Uh, each one of those will have a separate decal. So still quite a bit of work to do on this one. But we do have a really lovely candy cane red and white ink which is looking really quite cool i'm definitely pleased that i went for the um the paint finish using the masking tape even though it's a little thicker than it was supposed to be i think that looks really good very happy with that um and then we move on to the the dr1 uh which again is looking really quite cool now that we've got the second of the the three wings on um, got the tail playing on, all looking really quite good. Uh, and what I'm about to do now is obviously this lovely zebra stripe pattern. Made a bit of a boo-boo, um, it's supposed to look like that on the top and the bottom. Um, so what we've done is we've just obviously masked that off and we're going to get some paint on that now. And yeah, soon we'll be ready to put that top wing on and it will look like a triplane again.